Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Swanson with the National Resource Center on Psychiatric Advanced Directives and the Crisis Navigation Project here at Duke University Medical Center. And today, I'd like to talk to you about psychiatric advanced directives. Well, what are they? Well, let's say you're a person with a mental illness. You've been diagnosed with a mental health condition that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, really affects your ability to think clearly and to make good decisions about your health care and other things and to communicate those decisions in a way that's clear and reflects the real you. Let's say you've had a mental health crisis in the past and it didn't go so well. It was really unpleasant and you're feeling better now, you're thinking clearly now, but you're worried it might happen again and you'd like to plan ahead. Well, how do you do that? Well, let's think about what you would want to happen if you did have a mental health crisis. You'd probably want what anyone would want if they're really ill. You'd want to get effective medical treatment or mental health care services to help you feel better and recover as quickly as possible. You'd like the right people to know what's happening. Your doctor, for example. You might have a doctor who's seen you for years, really knows you, knows kind of what you look like in a crisis and what medicines work the best for you and maybe what not to give you. You'd like a family member or a friend, I mean, not a whole crowd of people, but at least one person you really know and trust who could support you and maybe help make decisions for you that you couldn't make very well yourself. And what don't you want? Well, you probably don't want to be taken to a hospital in the back of a police car with handcuffs on like you're being arrested. You don't want to be involuntarily committed and maybe to a hospital where they don't know you and they might not even be able to talk to your family because of the privacy rules. Well, what if there was a legal document, you know, with official signatures on it and a notary seal that said just exactly what you would want to happen to you and for you in a mental health crisis? What if it said, this is me, this is my diagnosis, these are the symptoms that I display when I'm in a crisis, and this is my doctor's name, call my doctor. These are the medicines that work very well for me, and this is something I don't want to take because it gives me really bad side effects. And, you know, if I have to be in a hospital, okay, but I don't want to be involuntarily committed. Here are the arrangements. And by the way, here's the hospital I'd prefer to go to. What if you could use that same document to authorize a person that you know and trust to make all the decisions that you could make if you were feeling well, make those decisions for you. Well, that's what a psychiatric advance directive is. There's two parts of it. There's the legal advance instruction that says what you want, your preferences and your advanced choices and your values. And there's the person, the healthcare power of attorney, who can help to implement those choices. Those two things work together. Now, does that sound like it might be helpful? Well, it is. There's some research that says that people who complete a psychiatric advance directive actually feel more empowered, more in control of their own recovery process over time. And when they are very ill, there's less of the need for the kind of unwanted, and unpleasant, involuntary interventions that sometimes happen and a lot more opportunity to get the treatment that really works in a, in a supportive way. Well, if you think you'd like to have a psychiatric advance directive, I hope you'll consider it. And the Crisis Navigation Project is here to help you find a facilitator. That's somebody who really knows all about psychiatric advance directives and can sit down with you and help you walk through it and help you complete these documents in a way that will be most helpful to you and to the healthcare providers who might help you in a crisis in the future. So thanks for listening. I'm Jeff Swanson with the National Resource Center on Psychiatric Advance Directives and the Crisis Navigation Project here at Duke University Medical Center.